자, 그러면 12월 8일 목요일 모닝 헤드라인스 뉴스 카운스터 레이와 함께 시작합니다. 백 n 란 head of the Korea Disease Control and Prevention Agency, has raised the possibility of easing indoor mask mandates by as early as January or at the latest by March next year. 백경란 질병관리청장이 실내 마스크 착용 의무의 완화 시점을 이르면 내년 1월, 늦어도 3월로 제시했습니다. A parliamentary subcommittee has passed a set of bills requiring the use of the international age counting system in all judicial and administrative areas rather than the unique Korean age counting system. 앞으로 국내 모든 사법 및 행정 분야에서 이른바 한국식 나이가 아닌 만 나이를 사용하도록 규정한 관련법 개정안이 국회 법제사법위원회를 통과했습니다. Bloomberg has published its 2023 outlook, which forecasts that the world economy will face one of its worst years in three decades, with global growth at a meager 2.4%, the lowest since 1993. 경제 매체 블룸버그는 내년 경제 세계 경제 성장률이 1993년 이후 최저치인 2.4%에 그칠 것으로 예상하면서 내년 세계 경제가 30년 만에 최악의 부진을 보일 것이라고 전망했습니다. The U.S. Democratic Party has cemented its control of the U.S. Senate by winning a bitterly fought seat in the state of Georgia, giving the Democrats a majority of 51 to 49 in the upper chamber of Congress. 미국 민주당이 조지아주에서 치열한 접전 끝에 공화당을 누르고 의석을 확보했습니다. 그 결과 51대 49의 과반을 얻으면서 상원에서의 확실한 장악력을 굳혔습니다. The Canadian province of Quebec has introduced legislation that would drop the 155-year-old requirement that elected officials swear an oath to the British Crown. 캐나다 퀘벡 주 정부는 주 의원 취임 선서 시 요구되는 영국 국왕에 대한 충성 서약을 155년 만에 폐지하는 법안을 내놨습니다. And those are today's headlines. Morning headline expressions. So, 오늘 headline에 나왔던 주요 표현들입니다. The first one was to raise the possibility of something. It means you say that something could happen, right? Mm. If you raise any, if you raise an issue, you bring it up, you mm-hmm. mention it, you talk about it. Mm. Well, the head of the KDCA has raised the possibility of easing indoor mask mandates. Right, we don't know for sure, but yep. she said it's possible. Yeah. Could happen. She's even given us pretty much a, a time frame. So it could be between January and March that we start right. not having to wear masks indoors. Right, so apparently they're going to make this decision by the end of the year. So yeah. we'll find yeah. out within the next couple of weeks yep. what direction they're going in. Mm. Well, the second expression was the age counting system that yeah. just describes how we count the age. Yeah, right? an age counting yeah. system. It's just, yeah, just the way you count. Yeah. And that's the thing. This is quite unique to Korea because other countries wouldn't even like if you told this to someone who didn't know that. Mm. What's your age counting system? Like, what? Yeah, exactly. The term itself, there, there's really no need for it in other countries because <laughs> yeah. they only have one. Yeah. So there is no need to say this is an age counting system. It's right. just. Age yeah. in most countries. However, in Korea, we have our own counting system. So the you Korean need to age. differentiate. Yes, it. Yeah, exactly. and that's why we call the other type the international age, which is not called that anywhere no, else. I used to get annoyed when people would call it miguk age. <laughs> I used to get so annoyed by that because I'm like, America did not create age, <laughs> right? I get ah. so annoyed. They would just make the The hair on the back of my neck stand up. 그럴 수 있겠네요. 이만 나이를 이제 가끔씩 사람들은 어, 미국 나이라고 부르기도 하는데 어, 캐나다에서 온 레이가 들었을 때 아니 왜뭐 미국 사람들이 만들어낸 것도 아닌데 왜 미국 에이지야? 어 이건 그냥 <웃음> 국 international, 국제 AGG, 뭐 이런 생각이 드셨군요. 이 age counting system. 자, 그 다음에 전망, outlook. Outlook, meaning forecast. Mm. Right? It's what they expect. So we're talking about this is a, um, an economic outlook. Mm-hmm. Bloomberg saying what they think, yeah. uh, how the economy will develop and grow next year. That's right. And outlook is 
very much like a forecast, although with the economic stories, we have both outlook and forecast. But with the weather, we don't say outlook, no. only forecast. Right, exactly. Mm. You can also talk about someone having like a very optimistic outlook on life, the yes. way you view things. Oh, that's you can right. look at outlook as that. It's the way you view something. And oh, this no. is, you know, when we look at economic forecasts, mm. it's the way those economists are viewing mm. what will happen. That's so true. Someone who has a positive outlook on life. Oh, 인생을 아주 긍정적으로 내다보는 사람. 저 그런 이제 optimist를 표현할 때도 outlook 쓸수 있어요. 그때는 전망이라기보다는 그냥 그렇게 보는 거죠. 인생을 밝게 내다보는 사람. We call those people glass glass half, half full, full people. People, right? yes. So if you're if you're a pessimist, you're like, oh, my glass is half empty. Mm. But an optimist says, well, my glass is half full. Yeah, and you can say, as you said, this person is a glass half empty person. <laughs> this person is a glass half full person. Right. All right. The next expression is a verb to cement. Right. Right. I think everyone knows the noun cement. Yeah. Right. It's what roads are made of, mm -hmm. buildings are made of, um, and it's obviously very very strong. Yes. Right. So there's the clue. So mm. if you use cement as a verb, it means you're strengthening something. You're making yeah. it stronger. If you talk about cementing an agreement, for example, you mm. solidified it. Solidify is another yeah. good way of expressing this. Yeah. Well, the U.S. Democratic Party has cemented its control of the Senate because now they absolutely have a majority. Exactly. Mm hmm. 뭔가 국권이 하다. 자, 그리고 마지막은 oath입니다. An oath is a solemn or formal promise. Mm -hmm. You're promising to do something. So um, in this case, elected officials in Canada need to swear an oath to the British monarch, yeah. meaning they will be loyal. Mm -hmm. um, if you um, take an oath of office, same yeah, thing, right? Sure. You promise to do the job. Mm. When you're in court, if you take the oath, you're under oath. Mm. It means you've promised that you will tell the truth. Um, and usually you put your hand on the Bible. Mm, exactly. An oath, 맹세, 서약 이런 의미가 있고요. Uh, 그거를 이제 하나의 phrase로 만들면 swear an oath, well, take an oath 이렇게 yeah. 표현하기도 합니다. You're under oath, they say that in, in, uh, in court. 법정에서는 네, 지금 이제 거짓말을 전혀 하면 안 되는 상황이다. You are under oath, uh, 맹세하셨습니다. If you lie, 의미로. it's illegal. That's right. Another crime. There you go. 자, 이렇게 headline에서 나온 표현 리뷰해봤습니다. 모닝 헤드라인 익스프레션스는 오디오 어학단과 유튜브에서 다시 듣게 하실 수 있습니다.